In this video, I'll introduce you to the grid component in NetAdvantage for WPF line of business. The XAM data grid is fully functional, high performance grid control, which you can use in your applications to present all of your tabular data. It includes, in addition to all of the layout customization operations and data related operations, a variety of additional features which you can use to add uh, rich capabilities to your applications. Let's take a look at some of the samples in the features browser to illustrate a few of the features that um, are worth highlighting in this product. So what we're seeing here is a grid control which is bound to hierarchical data and the column layouts are have been automatically generated based on the hierarchical uh, data structure within the data source. Something else also to mention here is the fact that editors are automatically uh, initialized according to the data type of the corresponding column. So in this case, in order date, we're having um, objects of type date. So automatically, we're seeing a uh, XAM date editor initialized for each of these cells. On the other hand, in the next column, employee ID, uh, we have a object of type int. So we have Xamarin numeric editors initialized, which make sure that the user can only enter numeric data. Another capability uh, that's illustrated in this example is uh, the flexibility of field layouts. You can easily reorder columns and you can even construct multi-row multi uh, column layouts as well. So what I'll do now is I'll, I'll place the company name under contact name. I'll place contact title in front of, of these two. So this is just an example of how your end users can, can customize uh, the appearance of the XAM data grid. Other operations which are demonstrated in this sample are group by. This is the group by area which can be expanded or collapsed by the end user. Uh, you can easily group by dragging uh, a column in the, in the group by area like so and seeing each of, the, each of the records in the different um, group headers underneath that. Of course, um, in this sample, you can also demonstrate sorting. So clicking on column sorts uh, all the rows according to that column. An additional capability worth mentioning is row summaries. So the XAM data grid supports both standard uh, row summaries, which include count, minimum, maximum, and also um, user-defined ones. Uh, for example, you can easily uh, add a summary which computes variance or standard deviation. And also in this column, you can, you can see that uh, for, for a column which contains ints, we also get sum and average, which are automatically added, and for a column that contains strings, we're only getting the summary operators which are applicable for this particular data type. One of the major features which the XAM data grid uh, contains is export to Excel. The export to Excel is implemented using a separate library, which is written entirely by logistics, so there are no dependencies on Microsoft Office. So you can export uh, data in the XAM data grid um, without having Microsoft Office uh, Excel installed or any dependencies on interrupt libraries from the Microsoft Office. So there are a number of different settings which you can which you can specify as far as exporting is concerned. And you, you can also trap events when export takes place and when it finishes. So you have a lot of flexibility in adding custom behaviors 
before an offer export occurs. So for example, you can automate Excel to be started immediately after um, the user exports uh, data in his aggregate in, into an Excel file. Another capability in the exam data grid is record filtering. We can demonstrate that using the sample here. The exam data grid implements Excel style filtering and that's basically giving you more control over the filtering behavior by providing you uh, with the ability to, to filter based on blanks, non-blanks, and also the distinct values in the column. And also, you're able to construct custom filters where you're, um, you're allowed to, to build complex Boolean logic clauses, uh, including AND, OR groups, and multiple conditions. Um, so this kind of functionality allows your user to independently uh, from, from the developer, from uh, how the application was going to be used, to extend uh, the way that uh, they're consuming data. So these these filters can also be customized. Of course, you can add your own custom uh, filter operators. For example, in this case, we're seeing even and odd filter operators. We're seeing uh, percentile operations, and so on. We can also change the uh, filter operator using a drop-down in the filter cell itself. Another example worth looking at is the adorning editor's example. This shows you how you can, you can use adorning editors to extend, uh, to provide many detailed views of records, if you will, and to extend the standard appearance of the XAM data grid to include additional information not provided in, this, in the columns that are visible. So you can, you can see how using different templates you can basically make for a much richer experience for your end users consuming the data contained in the grid. A very important feature of the XAM data grid is its ability to handle large amounts uh, of data and also rapidly changing data. What we're seeing here is an example of the use of the data body change event, which is um, released every time uh, there is a change in, in a value in, in a column. So using this uh, particular event, we're able to change the, the color, the background color of all these cells based on the direction of change of values. So this is just an example of how the exam data grid can handle um, rapidly changing data and can actually add contextual information to it. This is another example which illustrates how changes over time can be tracked using the data value history. So every time there is a change in value, uh, you can have those saved into, into a data value history uh, for each and every cell. So in this case, we're saving the last 20 values and we're displaying those in a mini chart, allowing your user to, to get a feeling of not only the direction of the last change, but also of the overall um, trend in the change of the values. The XAM data grid is very flexible as far as uh, theming and styling is concerned. Um, here are some of the some of the examples uh, where we have implemented different appearances for the cell value presenters, so as to to give your your users a more functional and more uh, visually appealing display of data. As far as theming is concerned, the XAM data grid comes uh, with a lot of different appearances right out of the box. And those include the Office uh, 2010 Blue, which is standard across our entire uh, platform. So you can style all of your Infratix 6 WPF components using 
this steam without any external dependencies and the bad will get the same additional steam packs. So this should give you um, a general idea or a very brief um, overview of the features which are supported by the Sanitated Grid. There's many more uh, samples here which show you how each of these uh, capabilities can be customized and uh, adapted to fit your particular scenarios. So I would encourage you to browse through all of these samples and to learn and to see how flexible the Sanitated Grid is and how it can make your applications both more functional and more visually appealing. Infragistics on the web at infragistics.com.